I am now going to take you through the new Principal Investigator dashboard, which is a replacement of RF Quick View. When you sign into the new RF SUNY Report Center, your screen will look like this. You will have the option of dashboards, and within that list of values will be the dashboards available to you. In this case, we are going to select Principal Investigator. The Principal Investigator dashboard will return, and as you can see, we have an Alerts tab. We are showing employees terminating on a grant in the next 45 days, projects terming, awards terming, reports coming due, past due reports, new awards created, direct spent at 90% or above, and new person assigned on a grant in the last 30 days. In working with our pilot group, these were some of the key monitoring reports that they wanted to display when they signed into the dashboard. Then we have the My Grants tab. As you can see, we are providing several portlets. We are showing grant expenditure detail by monthly date range. We will open up the award portlet and it will provide a list of all awards that that particular user has access to based upon the security. For the Principal Investigator dashboard, we are defaulting the view to direct costs, but the user always has the option to change their view to indirect or the combined view of direct and indirect. As we were informed, since the indirect cost is really a calculation, it's not money available to spend, the PIs prefer just to see their direct cost balance. As you can see, we provide various prompts to limit the data if you are searching for something in particular. In this scenario here, I will enter an award number, click the Apply button, and as you can see, it will limit the data just to that particular award. As I scroll over, you will see we have a payroll encumbrance shortage column, your current budget, your current expense, your current encumbrance, and your available balance. Anywhere you see these highlighted blue links is where you can drill to get more detail. So I will drill on the available balance. And as you can see, it will return the award summary inquiry that users are accustomed to seeing. And you have the ability to drill on expenditure category to see the detail of those expenditure items and those encumbrance items. One of the nice things about this new report center is you will see you have export options in various formats. I could select PDF, Excel 2003, PowerPoint, a web archive, or various data formats. We have also added a subaward summary which will provide a list of all subcontracts at a summary level showing the expense, the encumbrance, and the total commitment for that particular subaward E. Next we have a tracking cost recovery tab which will show you you select your fiscal month end and it will show you in this particular portlet we have broken it down by award type so I can see for the fiscal year my federal dollars, my federal flow through, my foreign and my non-federal dollars. And to the right you will see we have broken this down into a bar chart so you can see the percentage of your spending for the fiscal year broken down by award type. As I scroll down you will see we also are displaying a five-year trend by award type. This provides the ability to see are your non-federal dollars higher or lower compared to the last four fiscal years, your foreign, your federal, your federal flow through. And we have done the same in regards to budget changes. We have sponsor program funding by award type which will provide a list based upon the budget changes for the fiscal year broken down by award type, meaning federal, federal flow through, and non-federal and foreign, your increases and decreases, and then we also show the same pie chart with the percentage. At the very end, we also do provide an overview tab for for the PI or the PI's admin staff to explain each tab 
what the data is that is contained on each tab. And then we also provide a self-paced navigation course, which will tell you how to navigate through the PI dashboard. And that concludes our demonstration of the Principal Investigator Dashboard, which will be the RF QuickView replacement. Thank you.